Hello everybody and welcome back to the Old Todd Pillbox here in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. And today we're at our friendly local game store, Nerdhaven Games, downtown Abbotsford. And uh, my buddy Colton and I are going to be playing a game of Axis and Allies, Zombie Edition. So uh, a couple of couple of things about this game, just, you know, beside the obvious zombie uh, infestation that will be occurring, is it's a much smaller board. Uh, this is... I think it's the smallest Axis and Allies board out there. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But I think uh, square inches wise it's the smallest. Uh, maybe the Europe and Pacific that were released in the late 90s are similar. But uh, it is pretty small. Which is kind of nice actually because you know it's not going to be a hours and hours and hours and hours slugfest. Because by that time apparently the zombies will have won anyway. I uh, hear that they win more often than than uh, humans do, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, for those of you who have never played this, that's okay, neither have we. This is our first first shot at it. But essentially, whenever an infantry die, it, uh, it becomes a zombie. I'll just show you the, the chart here. This is the, the battle chart. Oh, it's a bit of a glare. Here we go. Try to not get a glare. Where can I not get a glare? There we go. And so, as you can see, when you have infantry in the casualty zone, at the uh, end of the battle they go there, and you see the other arrow because, hey, whether you're attacking or defending, you get bit. You become a zombie. And then the zombies actually attack first uh, in any battle. They just go ahead and bite, bite, bite. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. But we'll show you how things go uh, at the end of round one. Uh, Russia gets to go first in this. Uh, obviously, but uh, there's a lot of men there, so I think that wherever Russia attacks, there's going to be a lot of uh, zombies popping up right after. Alright, we'll see you in a minute. Alright, so here we are after round one, and the zombies are well and truly uh, being a pain in the butt here. Um, we are playing with the uh, zombie cards, with the uh, Desperate Times and Desperate Measures cards, so that, that's allowed for a couple of interesting things. Uh, first things first, of course, the British Navy got sunk, and then the other boats all came from where they were and joined up. So he's got a couple transports here. Oh, he, uh, Colton's playing the Allies, I'm playing the Axis. Um, he attacked with everything into West Russia, created a good stack of zombies, and then I got a card that allowed me to move zombies from uh, an adjacent sector to someplace else, so I sent a few more up into there. So on his first turn, he's going to have quite a bunch of zombies chomping yeah, at him, so good for us. Um, I attacked in the Middle East and he took it back, and that zombie used to be a Wehrmacht officer. Uh, the Japanese have erased the American presence, but have replaced it, of course, with the zombie presence. Um, up north, the uh, Japanese attacked the Russians in Siberia, and that was pretty costly. Um, also took the Soviet parties. Now the reason we went into there was because a card had deposited a zombie in the Soviet Far East and when you take a territory that is zombie controlled you get a bonus infantry. So I sent up a tank and an infantry, killed the zombie, didn't take any hits and was able to get a free infantry. So that's kind of handy. Um, he had a bit of bad luck here. One of the cards said put a zombie in the Philippines and then he tried to attack it and the zombie ate him. So now there's two zombies in the Philippines and the zombies were able to make a little bit of um, economy there. And the Japanese came over here and sank the uh, American battleship. He put pretty much his whole build over here. He's looking to cause some grief for Japan. Uh, the British brought everything down here. Uh, their fleet, that's uh, the remnant down here on this side of the board. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's a smaller board, so we can certainly talk about uh, things a lot much more quickly. So if you haven't played this game, uh, to start out your turn, any territory that you have a zombie in, you have to roll for. And if they, uh, and they roll this die, and it's, uh, there's three blanks, and then there are, well, there's one D and two A's. The D and the A's defender and attacker. So if you're attacking a zone with some zombies in it, uh, yeah, the zombies get to chomp on you there, and if they get an A, they destroy your units. So, um, You're wondering what America is doing in neutral Spain. Well, one of the cards said Spain is no longer neutral, put a zombie in there. 
And of course that happened right on the Americans' turn, so he just came over and uh, took Spain and he got a free infantry because it was zombie controlled. But then he also had a card, that same card said if you liberate a territory, you roll a die and depending on what you roll, you get some more units and he rolled a four, which gave him an extra armor. So, uh, so Germany, instead of having kind of an easy time of it in Europe here, looks like we're getting squeezed pretty hard and we haven't even, haven't really even done anything yet. So uh, we're gonna have to wait and see how this goes. But hey, we'll see, uh, see what happens on round two. Okay, well that was a disastrous round for the Axis, uh, no doubt about it. So the uh, British came in and took uh, Western Europe and uh, obviously made a bunch of zombies. And uh, the Germans did push up there a little bit. Um, the Russians were able to move some of these, it was the Americans I actually had a card, let them move this half the zombie stack into my territory here for next round, so that'll be fun. Um, in Africa here, the British brought everybody and thumped the uh, zombies there, and created one more from the German infantry, of course. Uh, did a build here in India, took Southeast Asia easily, and that's zombie, used to be a Japanese guy. Uh, Everything died in here except one Japanese guy, but there was only a man and an artillery, so I killed the artillery because the zombies got a hit. The zombies also got uh, a hit in here, and uh, I ran out of guys, so the zombies took over the territory. Uh, Mongolia got activated by the cards. Um, I did a big attack up here into Siberia, and all of my infantry became zombies. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, basically Colton rolled a whole bunch of A's and uh, all the Japanese army is now zombied. Uh, I lost Okinawa last turn, so I tried to take it back this turn with a tank and the tank got killed, so the zombies still own Okinawa. I took Borneo from the British, turned one zombie in there and then the card put another zombie there, so no, no luck at all whatsoever. Uh, the Americans are sorting their fleet here up north, obviously, with designs on taking Japan, which might not be that big of a deal, considering uh, the Japanese economy is only one up uh, from where it started the game. The Americans are at par, uh, the British are way up, thanks to uh, some uh, Southeast Asia money here, and taking uh, France. Although that's probably not going to last too long. Zombies will probably kill them. Um, and uh, the Soviets are getting beat up like probably they, we all know they will. But uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty nasty in here. So uh, we'll see what happens on turn three here. But this could be a very, very short game. But we'll see, see what happens. And we'll be back in a minute. Okay, well, as you can see, Tokyo has fallen. Uh... Got ravaged by the dice and the zombies have killed us, so uh, that's it. Because in this game you basically hold it for a round and there's really uh, not much chance of Japan. Well, you know what? Japan could possibly take it back, but actually we can't because we can't get the transports into that sea zone. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's over. Um, we did kill the big British fleet down here, which was fun. Um, and we did kick the British out of China, and uh, they're pretty. The British are stranded now over here. The uh, Japanese left the uh, territory to the zombies and pushed through to the Urals. And uh, the strategy that we were taking as the Axis uh, after the disastrous round one and disastrous round two was basically trying to throw the game. Uh, <laughs> To the, to the zombies, not not in poor sportsmanship, but trying to make it so that the zombies would actually win the game. Uh, and we were getting pretty close. Uh, built a bunch of men here in Germany, and uh, we took back Western Europe, of course, but we were just going to go around and basically try to create as many zombies as we could. Um, and that, uh, that would have been fun. But uh, the, the way the cards came up, um, was very, very, very advantageous. The, the good technologies um, didn't happen for the Axis. <laughs> we got the, uh, the one where you get the, um, you can 
cart them around with all your transports, and all of my transports means one, which is typically pretty busy. And then we have the Japanese, did get the artillery one, which is nice, but we only had one artillery on the board at the time, so that's a pretty useless one. The, did the British get any? So the British didn't get any. So did the Americans not get any? Really? So the Soviets got the two, here yeah, they got the artillery one, which is good for them, but they got the suits, and the suits are great, because one to one, they match up versus the zombies, um, and that nullifies. So if there's five zombies in a territory, and you attack with five or more uh, Soviets, the zombies aren't part of the battle. Um, basically, uh, gets rid of their ability. I'll just read out the, I'll show you the thing here. So it's the, those zebra suits here. So each of your infantry units in a territory prevents one zombie in that territory from attacking in the zombie's attack phase. So I guess that's at the beginning of the turn, not when you, not when you go in. But Yeah, it was a, it's a great game. We really like it, both of us. Um, I got ravaged by the dice in, uh, in the first two rounds. It was just unbelievably bad. Um, and when Japan loses all of their land units and they all become zombies, it's uh, very tough to come back from that. So, but we did clear out a lot of stuff, but of course, to uh, no avail. So, but thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll uh, hopefully have another round of our YouTube board coming up. YouTube war is coming up pretty soon. I'm playing Italy in that one, and uh, our uh, Dutch Lancaster is the, the Germans, and he just finished his second round, and another devastating attack on the Brits. But hey, you should head over and watch those. Uh, Detroit, uh, over at the Garrison. You want to check with him. He's putting up uh, re review videos and uh, showing everybody what went on and explaining it a bit more thoroughly than maybe we do in our in our play testing or our, our play videos. All right. Well, thanks so much. And remember, uh, just enjoy all the time you can with your loved ones and with your friends. And may those dice be with you.